Joe, you big dumb bitch. Oh, you're live. <laughs> no, whoops. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not just yet. Just walking over to the whiteboard. Well, walk over to the whiteboard. You are now live. Yeah. I'm bring us in anyway. I think we should pop out from behind the desks. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Happy Friday. Good morning. And welcome to Unwanted Opinions. I'm your host, Justin McDonald, here with Matt Fisher. Magic Matt. Jesse James, fact checker. Dave, executive producer. And our beautiful guy on the couch today, Jonathan Mustache. Burr, 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 burr. Ah. Mustache Jonathan. Mustache Jonathan. What's Looking up? handsome Johnny? as hell back there. I see heck. you. Handsome as heck. Oh, you start with the Yep. That, Jeez. H-E-double yeah, double hockey sticks is not a cuss word. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, this is a poll for all the listeners. Is hell a curse word? Hell, yeah. Used in the right context, it's a curse word. If you're talking about hell, hell, we've gone over this. Why do we have to go over this so often? Can you talk a little bit? So I can Some people this? forget. That's why. I don't. I just don't think it counts. I, I think there's certain words that have just moved beyond. Like they're not cuss words anymore. I agree. Like there's very few like actual cuss words left because the rest of them have just been like absorbed into uh, you know like if you say it on TV now without it being bleeped like basic cable. What's TV? What's what? basic cable? Do you do you even have basic cable? Some to that know? people had before streaming, and no, I don't have basic cable. So. Right? Yeah, you you actually cursed. On Mike the Miller said it's hot, and I'm gonna say it's also dark. It's hot. Oh, it's, it's also dark and hell is hot. Yeah. yeah. Um, Rest in peace to the doll. R.I.P. Uh, yeah. Speaking of cursing. And rap. <laughs> okay. I've, I've got to be careful because sometimes my... I, there's like no rhyme or reason to what song my phone chooses to just start blaring in the morning when I start my car. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know how to make it not just grab random songs. And so today it grabbed that Polo G song that I've been listening to, Bad Man, where it's like Smooth Criminal. Well, see, it knows you wanted to play it because you've been well, listening to I it. I did, which yeah, is what's funny, is I did, you. but I also had my kids in the car. <laughs> and so I look back and they're like doing the most, you know, ridiculous kid, you know, dancing to the song. And I'm like, I want to turn it off, but, but like I don't it. want to, but they like yeah, it. Don't mess that vibe up, you know. It's... And so I was like, all right, well, th- there's not like, other than the beginning of the song, which I think they missed as we were walking up to it anyway, because he literally yells the B word. But beyond that, I th- I'm like, ah, I don't think it's too noticeable. Bread basket? Yeah, bread basket, yeah. <laughs> Who Biscuits. says the B word? The, the song says that, oh, okay. not my kids. Okay. <laughs> Theo. Yeah. Well, Little yeah. children cussing when yeah. they shouldn't is quite possibly the, the funniest thing in the world. I don't remember the first cusses for all my kids, but I do remember Theo's because it was used in perfect context. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. And uh, as opposed to, I, you know, I have four kids. Three of them love the dog sleeping with them. Theo, for whatever reason, does not. And he was like three or four years old. And we just hear from his room. Get the F out of my bed. Whoa. He's talking to our dog. Our dog comes running out like, I don't know what I just Yeah, but does she get back in his bed? That's a good point. Like, it definitely works. You can't can't fault the kid then because it's like, all right, well, he got his – he asserted himself. He yeah, used the word properly, and, he used and it, it worked. Properly. So, and thankfully, we're in the other room, so I could get all my laughing out. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm like, "What the heck?" That was the most perfect use of it. But yeah, so we get in the car. It's you know blaring the song, and I'm like, "All right, well, I, you know, there's not a ton of like very noticeable cuss words that I can remember." Which, of course, you remember them all as they actually start happening. Right. Yeah. You're like, I, hope I forgot about that one. <laughs> but then the shuffle that comes next, you know. Just straight up f bomb right out of the gate, <laughs> and he was like, "Whoa, can we still listen?" <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, we're in your school parking lot. I'm gonna turn that one off. So you got that new Kid Rock song Yo, on the playlist. Yeah. Uh. Funny enough, we talked about that on the last show, and I hadn't heard it or seen it. <laughs> I, I remember you—you you were starting messaging me when you were watching it. It was something like this. This isn't that bad. And I was like, oh, no, it opens pretty good. And no, then, yeah. and like 30 seconds later, you're just like, okay, yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Can we bad. talk about Monster Truck, though? Man, what a cool guy. Yeah. No, apparently, <laughs> well, I just found this out after the last episode. Monster Truck is an entire band. Oh, wow. But they're Canadian, so that's kind of like. Oh, what's that mean? I don't know. It means it's not our problem like, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. that's Canada's problem. Is it soft rock? <laughs> I I don't know. Yacht rock. It's like I think they're one of those bands that like if you look at their picture, they're like man, they probably play some like thrash metal, and then uh, you yeah. listen to them, and I'm like, oh, this is like a little bit harder Florida Georgia line. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I just but you know those bands where they look one way and then that's you what hear you would them. expect from Canada, and then it's just not like it doesn't match their look and their like persona yeah. it's i think they're like that i honestly but, didn't go beyond making a rash judgment 
I didn't listen to any of the other stuff. Like, hearing them on the Kid Rock song was enough for me. But to go back to it, I'm not going to lie. That first few seconds, oh, I was like... Oh, it gets you. Oh, this isn't bad. And then I'm like, oh, oh, oh. He really <laughs> yeah. leans into it. Like, when it's like, I'm a soaring eagle or something like that. Like, oh, you're using all the, like, buzzwords oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, that you think you can use to actually try yeah. to amp It's basically up. just a song of, like, him reading bumper sticker statements. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that, yeah. that's all it that, is. That's the best and most accurate description of it. But I, it, it I, does hype you up at the I, beginning. Th- I thought maybe you guys were amping it up. No. Like, like ah, okay, can't be that bad. Okay, yep. No, but he goes... And again, with the beginning, I was like, I don't know, I might like this song. <laughs> nope, nope, you ruined it with all the rest of it. Yeah, I was say, like, speaking of like your car playing like the random music last night, I don't even know why we were talking about it, but we were talking about Smash Mouth again, and I was trying to tell Lauren that Walking on the Sun was their first hit, and she's yeah. like, no, it was All Star. No. And so I was trying to prove it to her, and then I was just like, all right, I got to hear the song now, because she's like, I don't even remember that. So I <laughs> asked the Google Home, I'm like, hey, Google, play Smash Mouth, Walking on the Sun. It's like, okay, I'm going to play some music. And it just starts in with Chumba Wumba Tub Thumb. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> like, sometimes the, the smart homes are like the yeah. dumbest creatures because they're just like, now nah, just play this random song. And so then I was like, I'm going to get close to that year so or I, that genre. Yeah, right. But, but you're not, not going to get song. what you want. So I Ask wasn't nicer next time. I, I wasn't mad at it. So I'm like, okay, this is interesting. Like, <laughs> I want to see what comes on next. And so, like, we listened to all of Jumbo One, but I was like, man, this is bringing me back to like the 90s. <laughs> right. Then Coolio comes on, oh, uh, Gangster's Paradise. Yeah. And it was at that point, I was like, I, I actually have to stop because it's like, as much as I want to get into this, get into this, I was like, I'll be here for the next hour just seeing what the Google Home is like playing on its random show shuffle because right. i was just like what is, like what where is it getting this algorithm at yeah like with like the i mean car, it got close well with their car it's like hooked to your phone so it's playing like what you did play it, it kind of did though yeah. i thought that i was like it did get close it's like the same year and type of genre basically it was it was like they were hits at the same time yeah. i i i actually i actually expected iphone 65 blue oh, to play yeah. next i listened to that this morning actually by crazy frog in case you guys don't hold on crazy frog <laughs> that's wait did that someone was. cover it well well crazy frog it was like a weird little like electronic uh frog. do you not remember crazy frog it sounds vaguely familiar yeah, um, if you if it, yeah, I'll, I'll play some later for you because it's gonna be on my story. But they were playing but, Eiffel sixty five blue. Well, the one yes, they they did blue. They did what I started with was the Axel Foley Beverly Hills Cop song. Oh wow! Wow. But they all like and we like to party. You probably remember we like. To party. I do remember we like to party. But they did it with frogs and they just do weird little frog noises. You don't remember? What it is? <laughs> no, it's, it's like Dancing Baby era like, though, right? No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It's, it's, ri- like, it's riveting. You need to watch it. Wow. Wow. Like, <laughs> wow. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Nailed it. That doesn't sound anything like a frog. Yeah. Yeah. That's I miss those times. Sounds. But I will, I will absolutely play it for you. It's Crazy Frog. Anyway, I just like totally forgot about the album. It's literally just, it's like Kids Bop where they just take songs and like just <laughs> bastardize them. So it's like that, but with a Frog noises. And you listened to that this morning? Yeah. Kids bot. That's why I'm so hyped right now. Obviously. I'm hyped because of these energy energy drinks. <laughs> well, I was like <laughs> energy drinks. I was thinking I said it. I energy. said what I said. Yeah, but we don't know what it was. That's energy. fine. Energy drinks. That's on you all to decipher what I'm saying. <laughs> the la- story of our lives. A little bit of last night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, Arnold speaking of which, <laughs> great grand opening for the Workspace Collective. It was Beautiful. A lot of fun. Podcast Y'all weren't here. You could have seen the studio. Yeah, it was cool to have people come in and they're like, oh, this is neat. This is where you guys actually, it's like, it's cool to see it in person. Did you, like, when you were giving tours, did you go, this is where the magic happens? I literally bypassed all of the beautiful office space and conference rooms just to come right in here. That's what's up. So, yeah, check this out. This is, where we, this is where we do our stuff. It's where the magic happens. Yeah, and there was like something on the board. Now it's time to start your podcast. What's your favorite podcast? And there's a numbered list, one through five, and it's all unwanted opinions. So someone wrote that. Like certainly it wasn't. It certainly wasn't me mm-hmm. at all. Look at that handwriting. That's no one in this room. Yeah. Yeah, and they're all different too. So you know, it was like five different unique individuals, <laughs> most likely. It must have been. Yeah. All I know is the drink pours were hefty. They did a great job <laughs> all around. Mary yeah. Barn Bubbles came out. Um, what, I need the guy's name again that was singing. Oh, I had his business card. Chris McNeil. Chris yeah, McNeil. They I know it's it. Chris. Yeah, Chris McNeil. He did a great job. Yeah, uh, like a wide variety of music, too, yeah. which was cool. You actually, like, at one point we were talking and you were just, like, Sing politely, like, tapped my shoulder and were just like, 
Yeah. And like alerted me, like, because it was like, I can't remember what song it was now, but it was just like. I think it was All Star. Yeah, it was All Star. Dude, <laughs> it wasn't. I wish, but it wasn't. No, yeah. they did. They did great. It was a beautiful opening. The grazing house had a big layout as well. That was the biggest charcuterie board I've ever seen. I thought I told um, Ashley, one of the partners here, I, when I walked in, I thought that they just put it on the table, and I was like, oh, that's "Wait, a, that's a really bold. they didn't." Well, it was on the table, but it was on like you know craft paper. Oh, I didn't even realize. That. I just thought it was on the table. Yeah, well, because it matched the color yeah. of the I table. I have no problem eating off of a table, obviously. <laughs> Especially not after five Marion Bar Bubbles drinks. Yeah, it was two. Was it, I mean, it yeah. was like two that probably equaled like five. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Oh yeah, I definitely only had two as well. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about your numbers, not mine. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. That that table got swarmed like when it was just like pistachios and crackers left, and then it's just like there it, were so many pistachios left. Like people not eat these. Well, well it's just a lot of work. They require effort. They're, they're half. Yeah. They're they're half cracked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jesse asked me, yeah, yeah like, I was cracked. just like, yeah, if you ever come over to my place, we always got a jar of pistachios, because we do, and he's like, the shelled ones? And I'm like, no, I'm not rich. He's like, the half-shelled ones? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, half-cracked. I would just say cracked, not half-shelled. Like, you still got to work for it. I'm thinking like oyster on a half-shell, you know, where it's just like laying there. No, nice. but we didn't say half-shelled, half-cracked. Half That's what you are, is half-cracked. Yeah, cracked. I knew that was coming. That's what's up. I knew that was coming. Whatever. Uh, Mike, said, Mike Miller says, you are obsessed with Smash Mouth, and I'm going to have to agree. Yeah, <laughs> says the guy that was listening to it on his little headset last time we went riding in the woods. And sorry, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> We, we stop and he's got like the headset on and it's just like I can hear his music and it's very eclectic usually and he's like yeah Smash Mouth just stopped playing yeah, and I'm hilarious. like what? I don't know it's not that I like like them it's just like they always just come into the orbit somehow yeah I, and Greg said we we're setting his Google off so Greg I'm so sorry about that for anyone else hey Alexa hey Siri I'm just hoping that I'm, I'm setting your stuff off hey Causing Alexa problems. order Eggo waffles <laughs> <laughs> Hey Alexa, play Smash Mouth All Star. <laughs> wow! Can't wait till that goes off in someone else's house. Uh, yeah, I, I love when the smart homes actually shuffle. Sometimes when it just gets it wrong, I'll just let it ride out. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, I'm just gonna hear what this music is. That's what we were doing last night. And uh, oh crap, I got my own Siri going off. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you do. I just feel bad when it does become a dumb home and it messes up, and then you like mutter something under your breath. You're like, God, you're such a stupid it's machine. Like, yeah. And what then it hears you, better? and then all of a sudden the Google yeah. Home goes, I am so sorry. I will try better next time. And I'm like, Man, y'all make me feel bad now. And you're just like an object on my counter. Like, why am I feeling? <laughs> next feeling? time you do it, it stands up, shoots flames. At well, you. I'm kind of <laughs> am like low key, like yeah, worried about that, nice. like because it's like probably all like you know. Uh, uh, compiled and saved in some like computer database, and so like when uh, machines do take over, right. like it's probably gonna be like, remember You're that time yeah. you yelled at your Google Home, and then I'm now like a slave to the machine. My wife and I both also like by habit say thank you. Yeah. Like, when we ask what the weather is, we're like all right, thank you. <laughs> like, dang it. Yeah. Like I don't now you know, like you're really habit. making me feel even worse now about you how don't I think think you're smart home once in a while if it yeah, really I'm helps sure you. Out. It's appreciative. It's by habit. Speaking of by habit, uh, Matt and knows, and we've probably talked about it on air. My frustration with the ladies cleaning at the gym. Oh goodness! While we're in the locker room, and like the most egregious happened the other day. I was peeing at the urinal. And she walks in. She's wiping it. No, no, yeah, yeah. And she walks in, and she's like, "You missed." Hey, what are you doing? You yeah, didn't, you didn't hear us yelling, and I was like, "No, I'm no." Just I'm, take an earbud out because I yeah. know you don't have music playing, <laughs> right? And you just go, "What?" And I'm like, <laughs> "But like my my first inclination was to apologize," and I was like, "Oh, I'm oh wait, sorry. no, they're not at Google Home." Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My first inclination was to apologize. So I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then I was like, you ain't. no, no, I was peeing. Like, you walked in while I'm peeing. Like, I'm in the men's room doing what I'm supposed to be doing in the men's room. So I was at WEC Saturday, and I was using the restroom out there, and I hear a knock on the door. I'm like, who knocks on a public restroom? <laughs> yeah. Like, it was so confusing. I'm coming in. Uh, Just like, come on in. <laughs> yeah, I, that's exactly what I said. I was like, come on in. Plenty Water's room. warm. Um, and it's then the, too. Clean, the cleaning lady opened up. She's like, I can't. Oh, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. They, they yelled at me when I was just like, they were doing the sinks, and I was like, 
there's this room with the 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 sinks and right. then there's like a kind of a separate room that's open with like urinals and dividers and i'm like surely i can pee in the urinal because oh, there's no div- yeah I, I like i didn't think uh, of it always go for the sink <laughs> but no i'm just saying like i go and i queue up at the urinal and like yeah they, yeah. they turn around and they start screaming at you i'm like I, I gotta pee like you're in the only room restroom i can pee in like <laughs> what, what am i supposed but to the do the audacity of walking in while i'm peeing and then yelling at me for yeah. peeing in the urinal yeah. is like what are you doing all no. i know is i got a free vip locker room up Grade because I just change in the private VIP room because they're always in there and they yeah. don't let you change out and so I'm like why don't you unlock this VIP room now the lady just sees me and just meets just me at the door yeah she doesn't so, tell you what she tells me oh I'm sorry you look like everyone else so I thought you were already in nope. there no I just make eye contact with her and she just like walks over the door and she's like there you go like we're, we're slowly mad, becoming friends but then I see all the people that I look exactly like I'm like all right I, I I've it. never really like I've known you for so long I feel like I know your face and how you look. And I've never really like confused you with other people. Yeah. Until but I will gym. say until going to this gym and there's a couple it, white guys, a couple of Latino guys. There's and like a, a Middle Eastern, Eastern guy. guy. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's mad. never happened in like 20 <laughs> years, and then now I'm just like I'm like man, I thought he oh yeah. nope that is not JT. Not wow, yeah. he got me. Yep. Yeah, that's it. That, I don't know why specifically. Dude, that it's gym. crazy. It's never happened really, and now it's all the time. I'm gonna have to do like I did in middle school, get in trouble and get a different haircut so that I look like. Yeah, else. bring the bowl cut back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Just call it a bob. Just bring the bob back. Yeah. This yeah, is my spherical to, bob. I tried to grow the hair long, a couple, like, I don't know, last year, I guess. But it just gets so wavy and gross that I just can't When do it. growing long hair, there is the weirdest intermediate period. Yeah, but you have fine hair, so yours is only, like, a short intermediate period. Mine, literally, yeah. it just, like, just starts throwing out and curling up and it's yeah just, and it's it is different for everyone thing. but like there's that like i would call it the justin bieber period back when i, I used to have long hair because it like get down to the ears and you just kind of look like a child you know like you just had like that kind of dumb looking like haircut fifth yeah like the fifth <laughs> beetle and it's like it wasn't until it got like long Actually, long the fifth beetle was uh not white so he didn't have hair like that <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do explain. Yeah, Why I had no idea about oh, that. Oh, I'm watching the uh, the Peter Jacksons get back on Disney Plus. Like Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that, man is, <laughs> that man is a talented filmmaker. <laughs> Tell us more. Yes. There's a fifth beetle. Uh, well, he he's the guy when they did the rooftop concert. Um, I'm trying to think. It's like Bobby. Billy you know, Preston. Bill, yeah, Billy Preston. That's what it is. Uh, oh, Billy Preston. Yeah. And uh, put that up. he played the <laughs> piano, and he just kind of like they, they had met him previously. That guy? Yeah, absolutely. So that's oh, what he do have like. some sick hair, though. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's, that's what his hair looked like in the uh, Get Back film. But anyway, they, they literally right. considered, and it's all on video. It's a really neat... Even if you're not a Beatles fan, hopefully you can respect what the Beatles did for music, right? And so to watch them... No, don't make that face. Overrated. To, oh. <laughs> I was about to say, or you would be one of those people that are can just like, the Jackson's Beatles like suck! Down. Yeah. Teddy, uh, give me some backup here. Yeah, no, that's silly. There's a couple you people I know that are going to like, that'll jump on that side with whatever. you. Whatever. Get a personality, okay? Don't, don't, don't rely on that. Uh, I have personality. Well, you're building it with with your hate for the Beatles. Um, <laughs> a little stretch, but yeah. Stomp on a beat. Uh, but anyway, you have, you have to respect what they did, and to watch them actually like coming up with songs is crazy. Because I'm not a musician, right? Yeah, that stuff so, blows my mind. So in my mind, I thought they would like write it all out, and they kind of like have it in their head, and then they put it like like oh, we're gonna start recording. But no, <laughs> they literally are like, they'll just sh- do all these different, you know, strumming along to different things and different, you know, beats on the table while they're like figuring out the words. So in Get Back, the rich, like, as he's like trying to come up with the lyrics, he's like, all right, Joe Jackson, Joe Jackson is from Phoenix and he left. And it's like, what is he saying? And then you're like, oh, JoJo left his home in Tucson, Arizona. And like the way he comes up with Tucson, he's like, oh, some drink or whatever is made there. He's like, yeah, let's use Tucson because such and such is made there. But Tuxin? it's crazy. Yeah, Tuxin, if you work so with That's us another for, story. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other story. But it's neat to see the whole process where they're actually like coming up with the songs and the words, like completely different from where they started. 
kind of like us and our topics. Like, yeah, I, we I start we touch yeah, we start one area and just completely go a different way. But so to hear all of that come together is just kind of amazing. And they do all this in like eighteen days. Come Music. together. Wasn't that a Beatles song? It was. Uh, it was well yeah. yeah, they covered Aerosmith with that one. Yep, that's <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, Yeah. Rolling Stones had nothing to do with any of this yet. They were the monkeys. Uh, they were a big influence on the Beatles. <laughs> no, you like, like, like song, like songwriting, song though, is... I'm going to the chat now just to see how many people are pissed off. Who have we upset? No, no like, every time, like, songwriting, like, I'll be listening to songs on, like, the lyrics and, like, the music just go together so well. And I, I, I'm, like, with you. I, I'm not a musician, so I don't have a clue. And part of me, like, wants to know, and part of me just wants to, like, leave it unknown because i'll listen to songs and i'm like how do you how do you write the lyrics first and then you write music to it or do you have the music first and then you like write the lyrics to it because you get those songs where they go together right. so well and like i just don't know it's like a chicken and the egg thing and i'm like or do they come together at the same time and i've like always wondered that because in this scenario they're coming I'm, together at the same time and that's that's just wild to me you know i, I guess i have to watch it because but part of me want doesn't want to lose the mystique of no like song no you writing. definitely should no yeah, it's awesome it's, it's very peter jackson-esque where it's like there's like just Hobbits long stretches um yeah there's some short people in there um but there's just long stretches where you're gonna like Zone out. Zone out a little bit, which is fine. No, you will, because it's three episodes, and they're, like, almost three hours long each. So oh, wow. Holy cow. That yeah. is, like, a commitment. So you that's like what? trying to watch, like, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. <laughs> that's, yeah. You know oh, when yeah. I realized they were overrated? When, when? Boys the Men covered yesterday. <laughs> Beatles. They covered them yesterday? Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Did you see that movie yesterday? What movie? Yesterday. No. <laughs> when did you watch it? Tonight. Yesterday. It was a good movie. It's uh, about, like, there's, like, a power outage happens in the world, and this guy wakes up, and he's the only person that remembers the Beatles. And so he's oh, oh, I remember, like, like watching a preview for that. It was a good doesn't, movie. Doesn't he then just, like, rip off their songs and becomes a Beatles? Yes. And, like, yeah. Oh, I have yeah. heard of this. And he's, like, trying to sing Let It Be for his parents, and they're, like totally uninterested and he's like i'm i'm singing one of the best songs ever created and they're like okay that's a little pretentious yeah but, you know confident conceited but okay. i mean i it's I, I don't know like I, my feelings on the beatles are like eh, it's just like i really prefer the ones like the albums they put out after they started doing drugs though yeah they were doing drugs the whole time you think so you're talking about psychedelics though Okay, whatever. I mean, it's just like their earlier stuff was like a little bit more. Like you like the Ringo Starr. Uh... Octopus's Garden yeah. is one of my favorite songs. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely a Ringo <laughs> Starr song. Seeing their dynamic it's... is hilarious too because it's like I didn't realize how much Paul McCartney is like kind of the leader of the group and like pushing them to like, all right, let's get stuff done. And Ringo's just kind of like, ah. yeah. <laughs> so they're all stupid. Like, drums, drums, John drums. Lennon just always going on rants. <laughs> And then... Uh, is Yoko Ono in this one? Dude. So it's polarizing because some people are like, I don't see why you would say Yoko Ono broke up the group because she, she totally does nothing broke up wrong. the group. Bro! She totally broke she up sits, the group. I'm going to show you, for those of you that are watching, this is how close she sits to John Lennon for the entire like 60 hours of filming. Oh, hit that camera. That's so weird. I hit that camera. You did. Good. You shouldn't be centered anyway. How bad should did I hit look at that I good? He's got to fix it. I, I stay centered. We got the good, good camera it's, on Jesse James awkward. this morning, so and you can also, see him in all of his glory. It also goes over her screaming on the mic. So if you've ever heard... Oh, gosh. Have you ever heard Bill Burr? I'm looking at Johnny because I know he's... he's uh, from his laugh, I think he's heard this one. Bill Burr goes through a breakdown of John and Yoko Ono singing with Chuck Berry. And then someone takes the video <laughs> and syncs it together with his audio of him doing it. <laughs> because, you know, Chuck Berry, obviously huge influence on the Beatles. Got a lot of rock and roll. Right? So John's playing with him. <laughs> and Yoko Ono just grabs the mic and just starts, like, screaming into it. Like, this is, like, what she does. <laughs> And the Bill Burr's breakdown, he's like, you can tell that John's used to this because he doesn't flinch at all. But he's like, if you catch Chuck's face in this video and he looks like he's about to like freak out on her and chooses otherwise, it's amazing. Yeah, she's a nut, dude. Like, yeah. You shouldn't be that close. And they, they address it in there. And Paul, like, funny enough, Paul's like, um, he's like, yeah, we're going to laugh in 50 years. People are going to talk about how Yoko Ono broke up the Beatles by sitting on an amp. And it's like, wow, 
Yeah, Yoko Ono broke up the Beatles by sitting on an yeah, app. Yeah, nailed it. And it, it, they're kind of cool about it because he's like, look, they're in love and they want people to know. So, you know, we get it. Um, you know, it's one of those things that, like, bands do have to stop at some point. I just, with so many, like, good bands, it's just like, I would prefer them just to, like, take a break and just stop them to, like, become the band that just keeps making worse and worse and worse and right. worse music and then just keeps touring and like oh, people are only going to see like the one or two songs and then they're like washed up and it just sounds like crap like and, and you know it's hard because it's like I get it. it's like oh you're a musician and that's your uh, th- that's your right. job but at the same time from like a listener it's just like nothing worse than watching that band kind of just go down the pooper or you have like the Rolling Stones who you know people still love going to the I don't even know how they're alive yeah like you look, look at them big, hey. yeah oh, like Mick Jagger still does like lots of yoga. I think maybe that's the key. Is that, that, or... that what it's called now? Yeah, <laughs> yoga. Yoga. <laughs> a lot of blood transfusions yeah. and yeah. cocaine, and that's you know What's the uh, yoga. Adrenochrome. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're doing something. This is a lifestyle. Yeah, it's. Whew. So I got hoodwinked, yet again. Bamboozled. Bamboozled. <laughs> what you Led get astray? I saw that they were selling. Uh, stock for the Packers. Oh, right? yeah! I've been meaning to make fun of you because I'm like, oh, you own a basket, and now you own the Green Bay Packers, <laughs> Mr. Go. Baller, yes. Yes. huh? <laughs> but they were like, yeah, this is the sixth time only it's ever been offered, and I was like, bro, I'm hopping on it. I thought you could buy stock whenever you wanted of the Green Bay Packers. That's where you're wrong. It's not as desirable as you think. No, it's super desirable. <laughs> this is, is the crazy on? part. Let me tell you how crazy this is. Quick question. Yes. Did you get a cheese hat? Not yet. Wow. If oh, you don't get a cheese hat with like package. purchase, right. yeah, that, yeah, that's it. I haven't got my package yet. Maybe there's one in there. Okay. Fair enough. Send it back. Bitch. So Bingo. I get so hyped up that they're selling and it's limited time. See, I'm an idiot. I fall. I make fun of people for falling for that like limited time crap. But yeah. then I was like, oh, this is limited time only. I got forever. It. And <laughs> I got in line, right? Which is like this online queue, which I will say is pretty cool because I bought a few tickets um, to like really sought after shows and I like what they're doing. So if you're not familiar, you know, for years, Ticketmaster could just. Or, or bots or whatever could just snap up all the tickets within literally like 30 seconds. Uh, right? I'm pretty sure it's still like that, right? No, I'm explaining how it's not. But you're too busy putting emoji reacts. <laughs> you're not paying attention. <laughs> I'm sorry for interacting with the fan base. <laughs> so, yes. And if you don't think a like. bot can get around one of those cues, uh, I w- you It's dumb. the best job that they're doing so far. Yeah. When I bought the Schultz tickets for the special taping in Austin... They would have sold out like that, yeah. Because there were, because not only was it a special taping, but it's a theater that only has general admission, so all tickets were like technically thirty five bucks. So now I could resold the tickets for over two hundred each, because the resale is great on them. Mm-hmm. But what it did is it puts everyone in the queue, and you have to wait for a while. Oh, I'm familiar with them. Yeah. Okay. So it was cool. So, like, the Schultz one I got in within, like, 45 minutes. But for the Packers one, it was, like, a couple hours. And some people didn't get it until, like, even the next day. Are they telling you how long you – like, how – like, because the ones I've been in have been, like, you're in queue. You probably have, like, an hour left, it, though. I, so you it, at least know. In a few instances I've done where they're, like, you might be within this range. Yeah, you need to have that range because it's, like, I'm going to go about my life. But in like, a few instances I have not. But what they'll do is, like, hey, we're going to email you. So okay. set an alert for the email if you want to. And so <clears throat> I get all this done, and I then I start looking into it. It's $300 a share, and I'm like, man, how many should I get? Like, you know what? I'm just going to get one for now. And thank goodness I did because it means nothing. You don't actually own any part of – the Green Bay Packers. So, like, they just you NFT'd you. can't vote you. on anything. Yeah, yeah I got it. They just NFT'd, NFT'd you. So, they did 300,000 shares at $300 Do each. Do the math. $90 million for nothing. Man. So, you can Today's economy say, is wild. They're just like, people just be selling stuff, and it's not, like, they're not even selling anything. But originally, when they did it, and see, I knew the original story. It was like, they're going to have to leave Green Bay if they don't get enough like money to like pull it up so you actually like you it was like a public 
uh, company. Like they they went public for the fans to go, hey, we're gonna invest. We want to keep you here. Now it's literally just a weird bragging, right? You just bought a concept. You bought the concept of the Green Bay Packers. Well, you and I thought the- I could sell it. And there's like there's no public sales options. Like I could if I found someone that wants a private sale. There is a. I finally found that there's a like a twenty five dollar transfer fee if I wanted to sell it to someone else. Pay so. directly to the Green Bay Packers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody's yes. got to pay for that Aaron Rodgers Or contract. you can sell it back. That's the only <laughs> option is you can sell it back to them at a reduced rate. Yeah. <laughs> that's so that's, what? That's so bogus. What? I sell my... <laughs> what? Somebody got swindled. Yeah, <laughs> me, big time. Yeah. That, that's like, I just couldn't believe. You were talking about the NFL that brings in billions of dollars. And... <laughs> That is scam. That, that is well, scam no, no, people, Jason, if nothing but, but else. But it's just like when we were talking about NFTs, though, like people are buying them. And we were joking about that at work the other day because like stock and stuff like that is hard to come by. And same thing if you're in the food service and construction industry, you know, these supply chain disruptions. And I was right. jokingly saying, oh, in the future, we're just going to start selling the concept of apparel or we're going to be selling the concept yeah. of something because it's not actually available because we can't get it. And then that's like kind of like what it is with like the Green Bay Packers stock or an NFT. It's like, would you like to buy this concept? concept of a team or this concept of an artwork yeah. and you don't actually have anything tangible that's of any actual value we're just saying it's value so the other day there was an nft collection released by takashi murakami right really yeah so he did twenty thousand avatars um you can only own one but you can use them across gaming social media that's and cool though i thought the same thing because like you're actually getting something bingo you know you're actually getting something that you not tangible but you can well, use it I'm not one of those people, but I, I do play video games, and I know like people like you'll know this from your kids probably. You know, um, like kids spend a lot of money on how stuff looks. Yep. In video Jordan's games. Wild. Yeah. Who? Yeah, the Jordan brand is on Fortnite. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan yeah. The Jordan brand. Oh. Okay. That's Michael Jordan to me. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, like people spend a lot of money on that. So I think it's one of those things where like that makes sense if you're actually now able to use that. And now people will also go, you know, that's kind of like some kind of weird internet clout of being like, oh, you got that Murakami, you know, Facebook uh profile picture you right. know obviously you spent money on that or you got that limited edition you know avatar picture mm-hmm. so. yeah but it's still the con it's just yeah, like it but is, it's, it's usable though like i do. that rests better with me, me than than what it was before because before it was like here's your code to uh, the picture you know and like anyone can view the picture <laughs> yeah but anyone can take an avatar picture God, shit, you're right. Yeah. Shoot, you're right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's you can't let him have a little bit because then he takes a full mile. What are you talking about? This yeah. is the second week in a row you've used that word. Yep. The S word. Yep. You the dirty S word. Last week with. See? with that's well, why you I was, the I was stuff. told we Tell weren't you. live last week when I said that. What's the other stuff? You know the other stuff. Yeah. Don't start with that other stuff. Is it the rap? Jesse. In the <laughs> yeah. Because it gets him going, and then it's stuck in his vernacular, and then it just comes out. Man, right? get a little key Glock in the system. It <laughs> turns into a different person. I don't know what this key Glock is, but let me get some. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, once I almost Celsius don't want to kick in. I almost key Glock. <laughs> don't want to go down the rabbit hole. Friday's going to be over. <laughs> <sighs> See? This what were you what saying you to him? I said, I almost don't want to go down this rabbit hole, but what you guys are talking about, they're also selling like. Real estate in the metaverse already. What? Uh, <laughs> Triggered. What? Two point four million dollars already spent on real estate in the metaverse. One, that was one piece. Those no. people so shouldn't people have money. Two point four million for a lot. It was for like a lot. sixty-two. Fake a acres. lot of what? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of BS. <laughs> and that's what. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> You feel good after I that. Know, one. I must give you a high five. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. Woo! Uh, yeah, it's insane. They're already they're building. It's kind of like uh, hold on. They're, what are they? What are they building? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Nothing. Yeah, they're building hype is what they're building. They're building an experience. Conceptual. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's wow. it's it's a, a put your a Oculus new on fresh kind of hell. fake house. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's it a really tax is. write-off. They're gonna say, oh, the metaverse real estate market crashed <laughs> and I lost all my investments. <laughs> IRS, I actually lost money right. last year and I don't pay taxes. Yeah. So Pete just said someone spent six hundred and fifty thousand dollars on a virtual yacht. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Can this I, is wow. This is, How big is that yacht? Buddy, virtually. <laughs> this, yeah. like, I'm seriously getting Buddy. upset, like, right now. Because, like, like we got real world problems, right. and there's people out there who are like, yeah, virtual yacht sounds amazing yeah. for 
650 million dollars we, we have literally surpassed the gilded age in uh you know the wage gap yeah right and this Wealth is like quality evidence of it and and you know this is this is not an anti-capitalism rate because i think capitalism is is just fine like like it's it's not that but there is a wage gap that needs to be addressed when people are spending six hundred fifty thousand dollars on a virtual yacht right, he's the coolest dude in sims no well, pulling up in that yacht God. Like how, how, hold on, hold on, hold on. How crappy is your real world life that you need a $650 million or awesome. like fake yacht? I mean, or how, how good is your Well, life? I'm just saying like, yeah. what's the point? Like, who are you trying to like, impress? Like, why, like, why do you Who need... does it actually impress? Even? Well, I, I don't know, but like, I, I like I, my kids. Look, I don't have $650 million. But also, I jumped so... over a fence in one leap and that impressed my kids too. So. Well, that is impressive though. I'm just going to I think that's impressive that. all around. How, how big was that fence though? This is a regular four foot oh. fence. Yeah. I mean, I didn't jump. I like one hand. Yeah, jumped yeah. Up. Oh, I was about to oh, say. you planted and like yeah. side leaped. Yeah. Yeah. That's a. But that's it's a hard to impress my method. older kids. And they were like, whoa, dad. <laughs> Did you look at him and job. say, like, you've never ran from somebody? Well, I was like, uh, yeah. yeah. That didn't even have barbed wire on it. <laughs> like, y'all Jeez. don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. I just what I was saying is it's like for someone to drop that kind of money. Like I just don't know like if that's if they need to like reassure themselves or if they're trying to impress somebody or what like why would you go this is a sound financial investment? Why wouldn't you just buy a real six hundred and fifty million dollar yacht? Because and maybe you already have a one sound in which investment. case six hundred and fifty. But so the Metaflower Super 000. Mega but Yacht was purchased yacht. for hundred and forty nine ether. I think that, that kind of falls into things too. It's described as an ultra luxury mega yacht featuring a DJ booth, two helipads, and a hot tub among For your other digital things. helicopters? <laughs> you have to purchase that. <laughs> that's that's yeah. cost extra. That's right. like an extra hundred thousand dollars for you to like digitally fly, you know, into your uh, digital yacht. This is, can we talk about something else? This is making me mad. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's, I just. Talk yeah. about Light Up Ocala. Why don't you recap that? Whew. Yeah. I mean, we're a little far out from Light Up Ocala, but I do want to throw it out there that, um, and I told you this over via text, but I was getting my, I was getting tires replaced and I was being a little spicy in the, the line. Corolla. Yeah, on the Corolla, uh, and it's not nice like a Camry. Yeah, it's no, it's no Camry. Uh, so I'm getting tires replaced, and I'm I'm being a little spicy. Like I'm being funny about it, but I'm being a little spicy. And this That's guy goes, "Code for rude, everyone." <laughs> no, all right, I'm okay, kidding. Now I got to set it up. Oh, I'm literally. I have a four long story short. Yeah, I'm in a, I have a four o'clock appointment. I get there at three fifty six, <laughs> and there's a guy in front of me waiting. And the the dude is on the phone at the cash register is on the phone, and he's literally quoting every single tire that's ever been invented to this person. Like he's going he, through every single tire. Does the person on the line not have the internet? I my yeah. My question precisely. See, you're you're being spicy. Like I, I know. Was. I, 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 yeah, I'm I actually question. upset now because it's so. Just like look it up. Go to the website. Yeah, we're so it's in like four sixteen, and we're still not being addressed yet. And now I'm like I'm starting to get a little upset. So he goes, all right, yeah, great. Uh, just let me know. Come in and let me know. And he hangs up the phone. And he goes to ask me a question. And I go, no, I'm sorry. This gentleman was here first. And he goes, oh, okay. Phone rings. He picks it up. And he's like, you know, tire place. I'm not going to say which one it was. Tire place. How can I help you? And I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, I'm going to call my tires in next time. You should just sit in the lobby and just pick up your phone and call it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm right in front of you. No, but, I'm not you know. kidding you. So I'm like, I'm going to call my tires in and see, because apparently that's the only way we're going to get help. And so the guy in front of me goes, hey. And he said it like kind of abrupt. And I was like, oh, yeah, I am being kind of rude. And he goes, Sim it down now, sir. No, he goes, hey, you threw my kid a shirt last week. <laughs> and I went, Excuse me? And he's like, yeah, <laughs> light up a color. Man, you, yeah, you guys did great. We were, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's just, you know, it was, it was nice feedback. He gave some nice feedback. And then he showed me the video of his kid catching a shirt that I threw. And he's like, man, it's all she's been talking about all week. That's awesome. And he's like, I turned around because you're cracking me up. And then I realized that, that you <laughs> It's that guy. guy. Yeah. I imagine how the story went from his perspective over his Thanksgiving <laughs> dinner. Like, they're <laughs> eating and they're like, you guys won't believe what happened to me. I'm a tire <laughs> yeah. thing, no? Yeah. Or no, tire any of plates. the tire plate, <laughs> yeah. any of the other tire joints. I don't know. I just made that one up. Um, you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> More like tire fight them. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 
And you're like, yeah, this guy's being super rude, and then guess who it was? You know? <laughs> I, no, I doubt that he said that. He because his daughter, no, he's like, like, he threw you a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, if he's giving good feedback. And then, he's, then he showed a video of me popping up. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, no, I secretly was filming him, too. Yeah. Like, imagine, like, how upset you would have been if you're waiting, and, like, the phone rings again, and he goes through all the list of tires, wow. and he goes, and now for our tires that we offer in the metaverse. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> you know, it just goes further to prove that you're a man of the people. You should be a mayor. <laughs> right. No thanks. Majestic Hard leadership. Pass. It's coming. Yeah, it was good. It was. So it was a great event. Uh, it yeah. was packed. Incredibly packed. A lot. Of, like we have to like had to start leaving where we were hanging out earlier to even get to like the stage. Yeah. When you're uh, less than a block away and you have to plan 15 minutes to get yeah. to where you're going. Yeah. Because you have to like zigzag and like do the roundabout way and then even still do some of these like excuse like the polite where you're like please ex- or excuse me and you just kind of like touch their shoulder <laughs> yeah. and apply uh, the gentle pressure. You're not pushing but you apply uh, enough pressure for them to know like move it's, please. It's, it's subtle pressure to get them to move. Yeah. It is subtle pressure. But it was great. Uh, our our table we had a table there for TJM and they had a, we, we got there at 3. The event doesn't start until 4. Yeah. And they already had a line at three. And it did not stop the entire night. I mean, the event's over, and there's still people lining up to try to, you know, get the little goodies that we're giving People away. go crazy over free stuff. We we I think we did it better this year. We had a little Plinko board. Who doesn't love Plinko? <laughs> well, and it also slows <laughs> right. people down. Because last I don't know if you're year, joking or not. Or last oh, time. I love a good Plinko board. Yeah. Okay, Who good. Doesn't? I just want to make sure. Uh, last time, it was just like a free-for-all, and we had to, like, set timers Yep. We're like, all right, you got to come back in 30 minutes is when we're doing another giveaway and you got to stand in line. So this one, it kept the line there the whole time, but it allowed for things to just, you know, stretch out a little bit. And you could yeah. get back in the line if you wanted, if you didn't get the item that you wanted. But at least it wasn't like, people are weird. They're like, last time they would just demand like, nope, I need the light up necklace now. Like, <laughs> well, those are the people like when you're on stage and they're like literally like they come up to like the, the crowd barrier, you know, uh, like the surge wall, whatever it is. And they just like stare at you and then they wait for you to make <laughs> eye contact and they just go like this. They're like a toddler, <laughs> yeah. you know, and they just like snap their hands and their fingers. And they're like, give me, give me. And it's just like, um, first of all, no. Yeah. <laughs> Second of all, like, what, like, what do you think this is? It's just like, it's, it is absolutely like, there's so many times where it's like, it's, it's good, you know, and people want like, you know, like we are calling people out, like we have the dance competition type thing. And it's just like, oh yeah, like you have some pretty sick moves. Here you go. I'm going to toss you something. And like, for the most part, the crowd would kind of part and like, let them catch it. You know, it's kind of like, you know, you see at the baseball games where, you know, that person's going to get the ball. So people kind of like, let them catch the right. ball. It was all in all, usually pretty good. But there was that one instance where there's like this little the guy girl. in the tire place brought it up. By oh, the way. I, dude, I was I was very upset. There was like this little girl, and I was like, "Hey, you and like the jean jacket, you know, I'm tossing you a shirt." And I go and I like we make eye contact. Her mom standing behind her, and I throw it. And this dude, like grown man, like backwards hat, looks like a real tough guy. Literally, like sidesteps in front of an eight year old and just like snatches it violently out of the air, and then like runs through the crowd. <laughs> Like, 10 feet to the left and just, like, has this very proud look on his face and just, like, gives it to his wife or girlfriend yes, or whatever. That's the most shocking part because I'm watching it. And, and she's like, boo this ear to ear. I and thought, boo this man. Yeah, boo this boo man. This man. <laughs> I thought when she, he gave it to her, she was going to be upset. No. And she was like, be. yeah. She was all excited. And I'm like, no. So I thought, like, there was, like, a lot of kids and their parents. But I honestly thought the kids and the parents were going to, ra- like, group together and like oh, yeah. issue some mob justice because like both <laughs> yeah. ad- both adults and children were like oh excuse me you know and they had yeah. that look on their face and it was just a, a, a collective kind of gasp of like <laughs> right. did this really <laughs> just happen yeah. obviously like we, we tossed a little girl a new shirt and like everyone else made sure she got yeah. it but it was just one of those instances where i'm like dude are you absolutely for real like it was his we, first date. We thought we were going to be better about throwing shirts out this year by naming people. <laughs> it, for the most part, it worked. <laughs> Except for the very first throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That Where one I is hilarious. And hit a baby. <laughs> it, it, it tipped off a kid's finger yeah, I, I, and then like spiraled over her head I threw right into a stroller. Too. Directly into a stroller, right onto a baby. Cool. First throw of the night, I smack a baby. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So. In case you're watching, 
You may have seen Johnny. Oh, look how good he looks on that camera, too. Taking over the hot seat. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is taken. Don't worry. Uh, no, I'm okay. I, okay. I think I finished it. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm good. Thank you for uh, not bringing me a bang. I've never if had you one. Try to pull the mic just a little bit closer. Or just lean into it. Whatever you got to do to about sound better than Jesse. <laughs> Jesse does his mic check directly on the mic and then speaks from over here. <laughs> yes. When we're actually in the. I show. do the mic check where the mic's away Numbers from my just face. Dropped dramatically. Yeah. yeah. Jesse back over yeah, here. Yeah. Let's turn that Let's move it back. <laughs> yeah, I think it was party. the the baby hitting incident maybe that threw it off. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I'm I'm out. I'm tuning out. But yeah. anyways, our guest is here. So, Johnny, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Glad, Glad to have you here. here. Yeah. I know that you've been on the show already while we were out in Utah. Yeah, the yeah. Friday night pirate show. That was a good one. That pirate was fun. Show. That was like yeah. the, that was a uh, Friday right before FAFO. Yes. I don't even remember what month that was. FAFO Recent. Month. October. October. Yeah. Uh, I glad to was... have you here. So you are selling homes right now. I am. Yep. What's like? How how did that even come about? You, you, you're a man of many traits and talents. People need yes. to live places. Yeah. Oh, dang. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. He's answered it for you. Yeah. Thank you. He's right, though. Yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. What about on the metaverse? Yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you gotten I'm a meta real estate? digital real yeah. estate yeah. occupation here soon. <laughs> when, the when are we going to get to the point where someone says digital and I don't think that business, that business is digital? digital. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> fifth, fifth. Uh, shout out to the old Chappelle show. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So no, but really, did you were you like uh, recruited into this? Did you just decide I want to do this one day? Yeah, um, it was basically you know I was doing the gym thing, um, and unfortunately, no one put like a global pandemic in their <laughs> five year or six month fitness right. plan. Um, yeah, so we were kind of side or you know sideswiped by that. That's a we, very Johnny thing to happen. Like yeah, you finally get sure. what you want to do. <laughs> yes, I spent years wow. structuring my life to that one thing. So I get to it, expl- like, oh, explain that to people. You you. Ran yeah. a CrossFit gym. Yep. I uh, left a career in the fire service. I kind of just, it ran its course. I, Fireman for the late people. I was in a spot where I was like, hey, you know, I've seen a ton of great things happen. I haven't really had that call that I can't, you know, not right. think about. So, like, now's a good time to leave. I was presented a pretty cool opportunity to uh, run a CrossFit gym. We were getting new members. We moved into a bigger facility. And then, like, we're at a, a little meeting with me and the owner, and we're looking at some stuff, and we're like, oh, that's weird. Like, the NBA just said that like, they're not going to have fans in the stadium anymore. Like, yeah. Oh, and the NCAA canceled the Final Four? Like, we should keep this on our radar. Yeah. Like, a week later, the state comes out like, oh, by the way, gyms aren't a thing anymore. Yeah. And we're like, You're oh, done. Okay. So we uh, – it's funny. We actually sort of existed in the metaverse. Right. You know, you know Zoom classes all and all digital. that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, – one of my members was like, hey, man, if this goes away, like, send me your resume. I was like, all right, cool. So I'm like, send it over. And he goes, I not naturally assumed it was for, like, construction or, like, driving a <laughs> truck for a friend yeah. of his or something. Right. I like, yeah. didn't think it was anything lucrative or, right. you know, real beneficial. So I just sent it over. And he's like, um, do you have your real estate license? I was like, no. <laughs> no. Was, you're probably going to want to get it if you're sending me your resume. I was like, oh, right on. Okay. So just kind of. So did you do an online real estate class? I did. Yep. Is uh got one on Groupon for like sixty five dollars. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. I real. like that honestly yeah. because like I was I was just thinking about like I hate when people are like oh do you, do you get one of those online things yeah. and I'm like okay first of all it's legit just yeah. because it's online it just sometimes it sounds. I didn't say oh, your little oh, online class. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. If you put little yeah. online, then that you, is worse. You spice they, it up with the group. They on. weren't uh, doing any live <laughs> courses at the time. Yeah, so everybody was doing an right. online course. Yeah, so uh, I still got my state license. So nice. it's the same course. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, now I'm doing that. Yeah. So on a so, scale of one to Gary Busey, how crazy is the market right now? Uh, Gary Busey on drugs, probably. <laughs> wow. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it is gone to it. Yeah. Actually, such a nice guy. Like, if you really listen to Mike Busey talk, such a cool dude. I have not really ever. You should. Yeah, I don't know where yes. I would find him talking. I, I. Um, the only thing I know. That was a rhetorical from, question. I could give you some podcasts. Is things. the Frighteners or the Frightening? Yeah, the Frighteners. I think it is. It's like a ghost movie with Michael J. Fox. I think. Mm. Was what? it Michael J. Fox? Yeah. It's, it's. It's. Are you sure it's not Emilio Estevez? Emilio. Did you get this too mixed up as a kid? All the time. Yeah. I thought they were the same person. It's like, 
here nightly Natalie Portman I still kind of think they're the same yeah, person yeah, yeah. but like Emilio Estevez and yeah. uh, uh, Michael J. Fox for the longest time I thought like especially as a kid yeah. they were the same they were the same actor hey for that group our course that you took did they give you yeah. an NFT certificate yeah. no I, they actually uh, sent me a PDF to download it print. Oh, okay. that's pretty cool print this yeah. out yourself <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> frame it if you want yeah, yeah. Right? It's, that's it's about you. that much yeah. Yeah. I would love that if it had like an actual like embossed gold Groupon G <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's real official. Looking. I'll make one on the on the cricket and yeah. stick it on there. There you go. Yeah, cricket and stick it. Yeah, hey, I like that. Nice. They should coin that. <laughs> yeah, they should. Not to be used without written and express permission. Yeah, from Justin McDonald. <laughs> you want opinions, Inc. Uh, so you've been doing real estate for how long now? Uh, a little over a year. Nice. Like, you know, like sixteen months, probably. And you're in like um, a real estate group that like you're with a specific builder. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you're. Yeah, I'm not gonna go too into detail about that but yeah thanks i, I work for a community yeah. in that community you work for a community in a community yeah and that's cool. it yeah you like it well Read between the lines like, people yeah i we haven't talked a lot about because you know i know you're from firefighting and from uh the science you guys industry. fought fires together what do you mean no i, I know you from the garden out. center oh, okay. yeah right, uh right. And you did too you started the fire and you put it out as yeah, well that's true yeah <laughs> well true story. yeah heard about that one yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't start the fire. You discovered the fire. I feel like uh, that's a song. But I don't know. I just It wasn't until the post from Unwanted Opinions where I was like, oh, yeah, we all kind of do know you from different areas of life. It's, uh, it's kind of neat. You there guys... are many chapters to the book that is me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Uh, you, yeah, it was... Like, I think it was one of those things that's, like, you and I kind of, like, met again as, like, adults. And it was just like, didn't we work together? And I was just like, yep. Yep. So, because we like we were much younger, and I, I was in high school. You were in high school too, right? I said graduated, yeah. So yeah, right we worked now. at Target together. I was the premier card attendant, and he worked in the garden center. I did not know yep. that. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So Matt would come hide from cart pushing. <laughs> yeah. In the no, cart pushing center. was done. <laughs> yeah. I was hiding from cashier <laughs> well, yeah. duty. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, I got so. my stuff done, so I would just hang out with you yep. in like the garden center, and like you had all your stuff done. So like we would literally just like sit out front, like you know, it was like clerks, you know, yeah, Jane, Silent sure. Bob. You just kind of <laughs> sit out front the garden center and just yeah. like talk for about three hours until we close yeah go nice. clock out that's it yeah <laughs> no it's a pretty sweet gig <laughs> that's fun like, that's i heard hilarious. about jt three years before i ever met him. <laughs> right about, about 10 years before I ever met yeah him. He's like, oh, my, my best friend justin he's yeah like, sounds like an back idiot. when we were doing burnouts <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> was and is so yeah. i want to i want to yeah. ask you what yeah. car did you have that had the two by six front bumper oh do you remember my, that yeah that was my like i think it was an 80s 84 uh Eagle, Ford Escort oh. GT. Nice. Wow. I just I just remember you the, had the biggest yeah. slab of wood, like the front yep. clip was missing, yeah. so you had the biggest slab <laughs> it was of wood. The rear bumper. Okay, it yeah. was just bolted to the actual the like bumper backwards. bumper. Yeah. My uh my grandpa did that for me because he told me it was illegal to drive a car without a bumper. He also thinks it's illegal to drive barefoot. Yeah. Very much. <laughs> and no, it's so illegal to have the light on inside while you're driving. Yeah. That'll get you pulled over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. And the kids get arrested then. Yeah. 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 I came out one day and uh, he had bolted that piece of wood. To it was well done. Me. It spray painted it black too. Listen, so uh, I had wood. a wooden dash, so I can relate. <laughs> Yeah, you had a portable DVD player that sat on that wood. Like, you yeah. had your wooden dash, and then I think... If and then you built, like, this little, like, angled thing yeah. that clipped onto it, and you, I don't know... I measured like, nothing. It was all eyeballed, and Brad... But that's together. back when, like, portable DVD players, they were, like, the size of laptops now, yeah. if not bigger, and it had the little <laughs> crappy screen, and you yeah. put your, your disc 12 in there. Yeah. Uh, also, if you look at my ticket record here in Marion County, my first ticket ever was for having a TV within view of the driver. And you just had the like the DVD bouncing blue screen playing, yeah. I think. Yeah. No, I had the Simpsons playing. Nice. Uh, and I was watching it. At night, people thought the TV was in the headrest, so yeah, they, they thought they he was did. a real baller. They thought it was in the dash. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't help because I was like, well, don't you have a laptop that you're typing into? And he's like... Oh, so we're the same now? We can do the same things? Like, I yeah, I truly believe that. Like, I mean, I thought of that the other day when I was, like, driving by a police officer because he was swerving. And, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm like, <laughs> right. so I can't text and drive. <laughs> right. But, like, you're over here, like, typing an essay into your freaking <laughs> laptop, yeah. going over a bridge, and you almost hit the guardrail. Right. Yeah. Like, and you're not even looking at the road. Yeah. I think it's just because like people see that it's a cop and they just kind of like keep their distance. Yeah. I will say about that Corolla, it had lane assist on it, and I was like, "Oh, cool! I've never had this. Let me see what it does." <laughs> and I thought it would just like keep you in the lane, but what it does is it's like uh, 
bumpers for a bowling right. alley. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. You can yeah. bounce. Yeah, yeah. It just bounces back and forth and then beeps at you to put your hands on the wheel. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. that's not yeah. as cool as I thought it was. If you would have had a Camry, though, it would... Ah, uh, it just yeah, keeps it would just drive for the you. Corolla version. Yeah, the Corolla <laughs> definitely you're bouncing yeah. along yeah. down. The, like, yeah, that's not as cool as I thought it was. But yeah. anyway, so you had a big old wooden bumper I did. on a Ford Escort GT. Yep. Rally so edition with selectable suspension settings. <laughs> oh, no, it was no. pretty sweet ride. Yeah. Did it really? Yeah, for sure. Selectable suspension on an Escort. Yeah, that's wild. You could do sport. You ever been in street. an Escort? I had an Escort wagon. You know I did. You've been in it. It was a purple Escort station wagon. The nice. P Hayes. The P Hayes. Purple Hayes. And I don't know if you know this, but if you don't have rear wheel, <laughs> rear wheel drive <laughs> or a strong enough uh, engine to break your tires loose to drift. You can e brake, and yeah. that does kind of the same thing. And so, I got really good at e braking uh, into drifting. And we once did it into the Ruby Tuesday, Ruby Tuesday parking lot, literally from 200 all the way around. <laughs> that was one of the Ruby times Tuesdays. I actually thought I was gonna die in a car because you were going like 60 down 200. Yeah, and then, to go like, real quick. It was like a yellow light, and there was like no way that we were gonna hit this yellow light. And it was just like all of a I sudden, all of a sudden, we're in the intersection, yeah. and then it's like e brake, quick turn, <laughs> you know, but. <laughs> we get out, and we were on a date because I had a gift card to Ruby Tuesday. Yep. <laughs> nice. So we get out, and uh, the people standing in the front holding their leftovers are just like, what just happened? <laughs> I did that in, in a 89 Bonneville, which was my Ooh. car after. Also had a Bonneville. And uh, knocked a stop sign over, dented it, and sold it like 14 nice. minutes later. Like I was on the way home to sell it. <laughs> wiped out a stop sign. Matt Mayo was behind me. Okay, um, of course. Yeah, wiped out a stop sign, drove it home, parked it next to a bush so the guy couldn't see it. Sold it to him, and uh, he left a comment. So what'd you do? You, you've yeah. always had like an eclectic mix of cars, though, from like mm -hmm. those, like the early Ford Escort with the wooden bumper, to your Mini Cooper and your Land Rover, yep. and like uh, probably had some other a, crazy things I in between a there. Vehicular headache for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, like I definitely I after after I'm knowing you for a couple years, I'm like, oh, this guy's just a glutton for punishment. Like, because I see yeah. you, and then you're like, and now, now you're like, oh, I own two Volkswagens, and I'm like, yeah. God bless. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the, the first one was uh, my choice the second one my wife decided yeah i like yours i'm gonna get one too and i'm like Ew. Yeah. Ew. it was gonna be okay when one went down but now yeah. when two of them do we're gonna have problems well i feel you i always try and fight that urge because it's like i want these yeah. cars that i know i shouldn't buy or aren't reliable like when it comes to the older ones like a newer volkswagen is fine but like yeah. you know the old stuff it's just like yeah it's maybe the new so new far. ones yeah been yeah great so far uh yeah i also had a bonneville that hollywood's dad sold me <laughs> and hollywood he uh, he offered it to me for 500 bucks, and it had a dent in it, but otherwise, and I, I think maybe uh, like the... It might have been mine. Yeah, I think maybe. Bonneville's <laughs> came <laughs> pretty dented. dented. Well, this, was, this car was amazing because it was a big old metal body, and it was already dented, so I was like, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> like, Bingo. Don't ever cut me off because we're going to get real close in this. But, uh, but yeah, we, he, he goes to sell it to me. And he's like, uh, "All right, let's let's go take a test drive." And I'm like, "Bro, it's 500 bucks. Like, it's yeah. If this We're lasts good. me more than a month, I'm good." Like, and back then, uh, insurance was so insane that anytime I bought a car, because I bought cheap cars, the like down payment to get started with insurance was always more. So I bought that Bonneville for 500 bucks, and it was like 617 to get the insurance started <laughs> because I was a young kid, yeah. had tickets for TVs and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> So yeah, it was always it was it was insane. Nowadays we've insured the gamblers, and it's like twenty bucks down, and you got insurance. Yeah, yeah. And maybe that's I, just because we're old now. Yeah, I think it's because we're old. Yeah, I was in line to get um, something going, and I realized like, uh oh, crap! I I have I forgot I have to have insurance on this, and I called, and by the time I got. To the like person at the DMV, I had already had my stuff insured, and yep. it was like twenty seven dollars. That was like yeah. the first gambler we bought. It was just like we really yeah. wanted to drive the LeBaron around, and <laughs> you know, because it's like lifted and stuff, and it's just like I got to insure it. And yeah, it was within thirty minutes. You know, you, you print your own card out, and they're like, you have like the most basic insurance. It's just uh, whatever you're legally right required, legally to have. bound to it have. Doesn't do anything for you personally. It's no, right. absolutely, no, absolutely not. Well, like which is your... all BS anyway, because. My parked car got hit a couple years ago, and basically all the insurance and the cops were like, eh, just pay it. Like, yeah. What? 
It was like seventeen hundred bucks with a thousand dollar deductible, and they're like, "Come on, you're good for it." <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, I thought their insurance was like, I did nothing wrong in this Dude, scenario. Speaking of parked cars getting hit, we were at the drive-in Saturday night, and I were sitting there, and I, I hear this car like ripping in the distance. I'm like, <laughs> that guy's driving like a jerk, and then you hear, pop, like, no. smashed into two trucks at that oh. car lot right next to the drive-in. Oh. Yeah, so I'm like, oh. Oh. I was like, let me run over there. Real yeah, quick. You know, let me. Your fireman kicked in. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, let me take a look. By the time I get there, there were probably 17, as I call like redneck medics. <laughs> right. Like, digging around in the car. Rednetics. Like, it's like <laughs> smoke <laughs> coming out of it, but it's not like fire smoke. It's, it kept, yeah, it's smoking. Like, yeah. It's steam, guys. Like, right. You know, and I'm like, I, I can literally hear all the units coming. Like, you know, are you doing anything or are you just standing there? <laughs> yeah. And everybody... I think the guy They're just standing there. fell off the fence, got hurt almost as bad as the guy <laughs> yeah. tried to, like, He tried to jump the fence. Right. Just, not like you, but he yeah. did foot first and went nice. fit, like teeth into the His dirt. kids were not impressed. Yeah. <laughs> you just hear him go, oh. Like, <laughs> every bit of wind knocked out of his body. He's just laying there. I was like, somebody check that guy too because yeah. he's not doing well. Get, get the medics for that guy. Yeah, and they showed up. Uh, the guy that wasn't doing great. He wasn't doing but, great. You know. Johnny, thanks for joining us. Thanks Glad for our here. sweet, sweet drinks. Yeah. Uh, for all of you out there listening and watching, thank you for joining us as well. We appreciate it. Broadcasting live here out of the Workspace Collective. Workspace. Have a great, great weekend. We'll see you next week.